It was a cat roundup in a South Lansing mobile home park as neighbors and volunteers worked to rescue nearly 100 of them. It is our top story tonight at 11. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sherry Jones. Trapping cages could be seen scattered around the Mill Pond Village Mobile Home Park in an effort to curtail feral cats. Officials with the Capital Area Humane Society say it's all part of a two-day rescue mission. Josh Sanchez is here for you now with more on how people in the park are reacting. Josh? Sherry, people who live at the Mill Pond Village say they have seen feral cats walking through the park and digging through their sheds for months now. One woman who has worked alongside the Capital Era Humane Society staff say she has, she's happy to see the streets cleaned up and know that cats have a chance to go to a good home. One day when I walked, came home, I opened up my back door and my, shed, and my um, storage thing in the back and there was five little baby kitties. So the mom had the baby kitties underneath my trailer and then brought them up to um, get fed and start eating uh, food. Monica Janner says she was never a cat person before, but in March she found a litter of kittens under her trailer. She says looking after them sparked a passion to help the feral cats roaming Mill Pond Village, a mobile home park in Lansing. She says with the help of her neighbors, she was able to rescue four cats and have them spayed or neutered. Janner says it soon became clear that she would need some extra help tackling the problem before it became a catastrophe. Stopping the overpopulation of outdoor feral free roaming cats is, is really important for not just the pets but for everybody's you know happiness and well-being. Holly Toms is the director of the Capital Area Humane Society's spay and neuter clinic. She says just since July, 50 cats have been captured from the mobile home park, but today kicked off a two-day long rescue mission with the goal of spaying and neutering the cats and preparing them for adoption. She says there has been some challenges of some of them not taking the bait, but she is thankful for the support from the park's management and residents. There have actually been a few like that, that some of the residents were able to help get in because they've just become familiar with them. Um, so we've gotten help from everywhere with that. For Janner, she hopes to see the cats go to a happy home. It can be a handful with food and all that different kind of stuff, but they give you all that love back, you know, so it's, it's, worth, um, it's worth the effort we've put into these, um, to, into these cats. Staff and volunteers just, just wrapped up the rescue mission and say 44 cats were rescued. Tom says it's not uncommon for the group to undertake these kinds of large-scale rescues throughout the summer.